hey guys a very long time to you all hello welcome back again to the channel how are you all doing i hope you guys are doing very well so let's give thanks to god if you are new here my name is rose and you're watching rose martin's blogs please do wait to subscribe and also turn on your post notification so that you get notified anytime i come back to drop a new video for my returnees you guys are always the best thank you so much for coming back to watch me i really do appreciate so guys so guys tabang is still currently like he's still in nigeria as we speak and guys is is just going about doing his media round um going to interviews and answering some questions and you guys you won't believe everything that uh, tabang said in this video guys he said a lot and the interviewers asked him so many questions and he attended to all the questions he answered the questions very 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 well he just went he was just going straight forward like he was just going straight to the point as with them and it was so 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 interesting guys so guys the first question they asked him was um uh, now that he is outside the house and is getting so many love and support so they asked him if the love and the support like if everything is getting too overwhelming let's hear what he said okay sometimes now that you're out of the house um at first it really did but i think i got used to it and i i started accepting it so yeah now it's just you know um pay attention to all the love you get and give love yourself so mm. yeah yeah he said it was but now he has started accepting it okay so so guys as i went on talking the interviewer um asked him if this is his first time here in nigeria and he said yes yeah that this is his first time here in nigeria and yeah i'm also hearing it for the first time yeah maybe i've forgotten and uh, also taxi said it, that this is her first time in nigeria and these people are really really enjoying their stay here like since they came they have been going to places like they have just been enjoying themselves and they love they love the place they are really really enjoying themselves guys and uh, so he also talked about um when he landed in nigeria the weirdest thing that he saw like things that were actually different from the things in sa like what he saw that was actually different so let's hear what he said like all the things he said about that okay first time yeah okay, okay so cultural very, shock very tell time. us what was first that time. thing that just weirded you out immediately you you know stepped down from the um, plane nah immediately after the plane it was how hot it actually was like i thought it was a joke <laughs> <laughs> But now you realize it's true. Yeah, the weather yeah, is hot. Yeah. Okay. But, but mostly it's just the roads. Like, it's just, <laughs> yeah, it's just need for speed and everyone is need for speed we have we have advanced drivers here you know okay we do right yeah, but then yeah. how about the traffic have you experienced any traffic yet yeah, when did I you did, get to Lagos? When, when did you get to lagos uh, i think i've been here for five days now. five days yeah, okay yeah, so you've been in traffic and how's that been? been in like gridlock okay. five hours no, no, yes. haven't but I've, I've been in a bit of traffic like it's, oh. it's bad for someone who comes from Joburg but yeah from what I've heard in Lagos <laughs> that's 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 nothing so, okay. so, so you're prepared I'm prepared oh, yeah. yeah mentally I think I'm starting to believe the things that I'm told oh, okay awesome. so I say Nigeria traffic will, will humble you like all the housemates most of the housemates that come to from uh sa housemaid that comes to nigeria they always they must add this traffic <laughs> they must complain about this traffic and uh, the bank also add a uh, hotness i'm on nigeria hot so <laughs> you go manage okay so yeah as i went on talking yeah the interviewer also asked him that when he landed in nigeria the, uh, at the airport who was the first person he contacted and he said miracle and tacti yes guys okay yeah okay. miracle um then tati mm -hmm. yeah because miracle miracle was in abuja at the time so i was like because ah, i was meant to see him yeah literally as i land but you yeah. need to hook up yeah, yeah i mean yeah. tati was also here in the studio and we had so much fun so now guys let's hear what uh, tabang said about him coming to nigeria what was his reason coming to nigeria why is he here in nigeria and what he like the plan and everything he had before coming to nigeria i think this question and this answer that tabang will be answering is very very necessary and important because for some people because i've really i've heard already comments where someone said that tabang is here because taxi is here and uh tabang is here for like to 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 watch 
after taxi and all that guys so i think this one will clear the air about it now guys from the horse's mouth from taban's mouth let's hear why he is here in nigeria let's know why he's here in nigeria guys now now that you're here in nigeria mm. what do you have planned out what's your itinerary i mean you said you've been here for five days so what have you been yeah. up to what are you looking forward to doing and all of that um yeah first few days i actually don't even remember though just like a okay you know um <laughs> but yeah um it was it's just been you know trying to get a mix of the experiences you know try to do some media rounds as well mm. um i went to the beach yesterday how was that uh, it was it was really nice you know like it was it was like so like tropical vibes you know mm. and i was like wow okay this is actually very very nice you know we took a boat there so oh, nice. it was really really nice okay. um went to went to a restaurant uh -huh. lounge okay and had the time of my life what so, did you eat um no it was just it was like um like they were having like a, a club vibe but not a club situation not okay. it wasn't a club yeah so like i had had the time of my life there you know and i was like wow i'm actually excited to see what mm. what you guys consider a club <laughs> <laughs> if this was this fun yeah. i'm curious to see what More. what the actual club looks like so okay. i'm looking forward to that um yeah food uh i have i have like a few things on my checklist and um yeah some recommendations so after that after i've tried that out i'll, I'll get a few more recommendations and okay I hope, I'm <laughs> just hoping Amala is part of that recommendation. Oh, Amala, in a way, do. It's definitely oh, oh part of that. So, so you're going to check it out soon. Yeah, yeah, love it. Okay, 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 all right. Wow, that was cool. Yeah, that, I think it's just basic, basically about brand building because he mentioned going to media rounds and uh, yeah, having fun. Like he said, he went to beach with Tati and all that. I hope you guys have seen that picture or video of Tabang and Tati enjoying themselves, like having like they had so much fun guys so guys um and also i heard him talking about um all the because the interviewer asked him about all the kisses that went on in the house with nelisa with kosi and whenever he is connected with these people in the house he always tells them that uh, let them see how the thing will go outside the house or they will went like they will just be uh, talking about how the thing will go outside the house so the interviewer asked him that how is it going right now like is he into anyone uh at the moment and he just openly said that like everything like all of them are in the friendship level right now He's, uh, we started kissing with kosi and all of that but then a lot of times you guys always say oh let's see how it goes after the house now this is of course weeks yeah. after eviction what's up what's happening with um, the ladies Oh, the have, you, have you is there anyone that you're now maybe you know you're now more focused on or all of you are just friends um no it's just literally keeping everything on a friendship level mm. like i think platonic focus, tense yeah definitely those okay. vibes yeah all so right. keeping my you know sight clear on what i'm focused on which is me and making a career out of what i what i've received from mm. the platform i've gained mm. from being on big brother so that's my primary focus and yeah any distraction is something that i'm trying to avoid okay okay or taban just made me to know why these people always avoid themselves once they come out of the house so they, these women them they be distraction like this for real <laughs> hey god so um like seriously it happens yeah meanwhile people will just leave their brand they will just leave everything that has to do with their brand i want to focus on the relationship side and forget why they went into the house and that is what these people are avoiding guys so that is very nice of him and uh yeah so guys as they were here uh people started sending uh questions for tabang and among all the questions one of the questions that he answered uh i think um the one i really love because i wanted to even hear about that uh where uh, the interviewer asked him okay it's not even the interviewer like the people the people sending the question asked him if he has met with uh, yemi you guys know that these people doesn't rapport <laughs> in the house guys they were they were not in good terms let me use that word in the house guy because of kosi and now that he is in in, in lagos nigeria whether he has seen um, Yemi or he's going to see him. So let's hear his answer. Anyways, he said he hasn't seen Yemi. Yes, guys, he hasn't seen or talked to Yemi. And he wishes 
or he wished to see Yemi guys. Uh, Rachel Pachi says, uh, question for the bank, your cousin seems very protective of you. Is he older? How much older uh, is he if he's older? Um, my cousin is a bit older than me. He is protective of me. Yeah. Yeah. Is he and older? He's, 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 yeah, he is. He's he a older. bit older than me. Yeah. Oh, so how, how old? Um, 24. How old am I? I'm 20. He's 25 <laughs> this year. I think. Yeah, 25 this year. Okay. So, yeah. Seems like she wants mm. to, you know, slide into the DM, but, you yeah. know, it, it's okay. It's oh, okay. I, I guess he runs in the blood. I think he's single right now. <laughs> okay. okay. So, me, that's, that's a good one. All right. Good, good information. Remember, we're streaming live <laughs> on uh, YouTube and, of course, on Facebook at City1051. This person is asking if you're going to see Yemi now that you're in Lagos. Are you going to see Yemi? <laughs> I mean, um, I don't know, uh, but I'd like to. Are you going to reach out to him? I'd like to, yeah. Oh, okay. How's, okay. How's, how's it going between both of you, like, right now? I haven't I mean, spoken. You so. haven't spoken since after the house? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we, we, we know that, of course, you you mentioned Miracle, yeah. right? You mentioned Miracle. Mm -hmm. well, we know yeah. Miracle and Yemi were not really cool in the house. Yeah. And you not be Miracle's friend. Are you sure that's not sending the wrong message? Do you think that it's kind of making you feel like you're picking a side now? I don't really think there's sides. I think relationships are what you make of them so right. um it's not beef with anyone and i think they're cordial i'm sure so their relationship shouldn't really involve me oh uh, tabang has said it, that if you're having problem with his friend that's your problem you're having with his friend should not affect him because you know join <laughs> so guys Thank you so here is another message during your last diary session in the house you told biggie you left your emotions at home so you've not been able to <laughs> cry since you've been out have you had a good cry um <laughs> interesting <laughs> Yeah, one of the days I was questioning if all of this is real. So, uh -huh. yeah, just a, a young take it in moment, but yeah. So, big boys do cry. Yeah, big, yeah. <laughs> men, men cry, guys. So, it's not a shame. Okay, okay. Has anything shocked you, like, after coming out of the house? You know, stories online, on social media, on Twitter especially. You yeah. know, seeing the comments, reactions, videos, clips of, you know, you in the house and all yeah. of that. Has anything shocked you? Like, was that me? Did I actually do that? <laughs> um, no, not really. Uh, I think a lot of my apps are censored now, so I don't really see any, you know, hurtful stuff or anything like that um so i just see the love you know and even when i do get that few like you know stuff like that i just you know the love outweighs it you know so in terms of anything that happened in the house that shocked me i'm more shocked about like like in my head i always thought the cameras show everyone all at the same time yeah. and that's not the reality so huh. i did know that but yeah some things just happen and you just don't see them and it's just like oh they didn't know this just, okay ah, it's okay okay so when, when it comes to uh you know reality shows we've i mean this is not the very first time we've had lots of you know uh, housemates in the past and looks as though most of them after they're done with the season you know give or take maximum of maybe six months once the next set you know comes into the house yeah. looks as though nobody knows what's happening uh to the, to, to them basically okay. do you feel some kind of pressure you know now that okay i'm done with the house i need to work on you know what this has brought to me um i think i still have the same pressure i had going into the house right now um okay. i just want to like i've just spent time a lot of time just stabilizing my life and getting used to this um i'm sure everyone feels pressure because bb niger is starting soon i think halfway through the year bb niger is going to start so i'm sure everyone feels pressure to kind of establish themselves and ground themselves in this plant their feet so that you know you're not someone who was just a like a one hit wonder yeah so yeah i'm sure everyone does but i think it's how you deal with the pressure so um i'm dealing with it in a way that i think is is, is good so i'm just going to keep working and keep putting in the work the work will show what i make from it mm. okay. okay all right so Char uh, charlotte on twitter says we're already there they're streaming uh on YouTube and of course on yeah. uh, Insta on uh, Facebook and they're saying you look so amazing in your outfit. <laughs> Thank you guys. What message do you want to live with? You know your fans, those who have rocked with you in the house and just you know supported you so far. Man, you guys, you guys fight the battles that I can't fight. So I <laughs> love you guys so much for that. You guys have been um, behind me the whole way. You know, coming out to all of you guys is just yo know, more than amazing. So. Um, 
I think I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. It's just um, an understatement, you know. Like, if there was a word to describe something more than that, it would be that, you know. You guys have Aww. been absolutely fantastic. And, yeah, I don't think this would be as much of a breeze as it is, even though it's not easy, but it wouldn't be, you know, this easy if it wasn't for you guys. You know, you guys make this journey, uh, you know, much very, very sweeter than it is, you know. So, love you guys. <laughs> what, are you, okay. what, are you, what are your fans called? Tabangas. The tea bangers. The tea bangers. The tabangers. Ooh. The tabang lovers. The you, okay. okay. Yeah. Different names. Are, are you yeah, going yeah. to be having a connection with them while you're in Lagos, especially yeah, those in Nigeria? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, something yeah. is in the works, right? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm, I'm, I can't, I, I don't know anything about it, but I, I told them that I, I just want that to happen, you know. So, okay, okay you've told your team that yes, you want yes, them to set yes, it up. But they don't want to tell me anything. Oh, okay. Uh, Fingers crossed, okay. Oh, that was so soft, cool, and entertaining. So, yeah, you guys have watched the video. You have your opinion. You have your comments. Just go down below in the comment section and uh, leave your comments. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And also turn on your post notifications so I get notified. Enter my combat to drop a new video. I will see you guys after this one. Bye for now.